Hi, James here. I've had a few requests for having a look at the glow effect, so I'm going to run through all the different basics that you can do with the glow effect, and then we'll go and look at a couple of specific effects. I'll just play this video, which will show some of the effects that I'll show in later videos after the introduction. And I'm going to do sort of this lightsaber glow stick with just an animated glow trail, and then after that, I'll use some morphine to do this long sort of trail effect that you often sort of associate with glow sticks or lightsabers. So to start off with, I'm just going to add a color card to my scene so that we have a background. And this color card, I think I'm just going to set it to a sort of a dark gray for now. We'll lock that down because we're not going to touch it. I'm just going to go over here and we'll probably just draw, say, a circle, but we'd rather, we'd probably rather have a different colour for that, so let's go red. And then we have a circle. To add a glow effect, you go into effect and you have these choices down here, and one of them is glow, and you just drag your drawing onto the glow effect. You're now going to to see it, you need to switch over to this render view. And I'm going to just say use the source color here. And I'm going to add some radius to it. And there you can see it has a basic glow effect. Now to do this in Animate Pro, you're going to need to go to your network view. And here's our drawing in the network view. You go across to your module library and you'll want to, I've looked at all the modules here, and I'll pick out a glow, which is, yeah, you can drag your glow in, and that's how you set up your, and now your glow is set up, and you'll be able to follow along. If you only want to see the glow effect and not the drawing, you just break this connection here, and now all you'll see is the glow. So back to animate for, uh, look at the glow. Now you'll see you have these different effects. When you're on radial, you won't have a fall off rate and you won't have a direction. So when you use the source color, you're using the actual color from the image. When you take this off, you're using this color down here. So say we want to set it to blue, we'll now have a, a blue glow. That isn't very clear on the back gray background, so I'll just sort of set a green. We'll maybe set this down a little bit. Now, what you can do is if you use this invert, it'll make all the area outside the, the glow color and not glow the actual object. And you may find some uses for that. And you can only invert when you're not using the source color. When you're using the source color, it doesn't work. Now this, this one here, I'm not gonna tr even try and say the word, but you use this if you get down to a sort of white color. It's basically the way the glow works is it works by multiplying on the back color. And when you've got a dark color, it lightens and lightens it. But when you've got, say, white, you'll see if I change this color card to white, all of a sudden this glow effect won't be seen. So let's do this and change it to a plain white. And now you can see it's gone, which clearly isn't what you'd like to do. And you can use this to multiply up and you'll then get your glow effect back, which you know is a neat thing to know if you're trying to work on a white background. So we'll just change this back to a dark color. And the other option you have with your glow is you can change it to a directional glow. And here you'll probably want to use um, just the color that you choose. And I'm going to set this up a bit so you can see it. And you'll see this fall off rate determines how like close the actual glow is and then how slow the fall off rate is. One is the fastest and zero you'll see is a much slower fall off. And you can just sort of play with these numbers to get what you feel is you're comfortable with. And finally, when you're animating with them, I'd suggest that you use these 
things down here to be able to do it. So I mean, you might necessarily extend this a little bit. So I'm going to set that as a keyframe we'll by pressing F6 and we'll go to here and we'll rechange it to say 220 and then we'll go back down to zero and now you can see that this radius is changing over time and now you'll find that when you go up here it'll now be locked off because this only holds one value it doesn't hold a range of values so what you want to do is change your values down here and then you can click on this icon here to be able to you know, edit graphically or you can use these little arrows to point out so you can set curves on your animation which is a really nice feature so that's basically the basics of your glow effects and what you can do with it we'll now move on and do a, you know, a specific effect with it so that you can sort of see it in action. So I'll see you in the next part.